their heroes on and off duty. Today we were trying to help the community uh, by cleaning some of the gutters and uh, the street drains and uh, the mayor was nice enough to uh, show us around a little bit after we finished. Earlier this month, the amphibious dock landing ship USS Ashland arrived on Guam. Although their visit was only days long, religious program specialist Christopher Sanker says their top priority was to leave the island a better place. We try. We try to do as many Comrades uh, community relations projects as we can, um, we, just to help you know get local uh, with the local community, help out a little bit. The USS Ashland, who is homeported in Sasebo, Japan, brought with them 500 sailors and Marines. The helping hands were much appreciated by Umatic Mayor Johnny Ugin Kinata, who says flooding is a long standing issue for the southern village and waters will rise with the rainy season ahead. And I thank you guys for being here. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to go clean the gutters coming from the Celebe Lookout down towards Umatic. I was so surprised because you know, usually we have to call our sister command to come in and, and, and help us. And uh, I was so happy that my village was the first village they picked to come down and clean. And uh, I told them I appreciate their help. And I, will lo I love the military to come down and, and, and help the village and, uh, and get along with the people of Umatic. In return, the southern mayor rolled out Guam's famous southern hospitality. They helped a lot. The military, if they're here to help, any, anything is a lot of help to them. Even a little help still is good. And, uh, you know, you come to my village and you help me, I will treat you the way you're supposed to be treated when you go to any other village. Yomadag is a beautiful place to be, and, and the hospitality is nice. But their work didn't stop down south. The following days, crew members of USS Ashland made their way north, where they helped prep school grounds for the first day of school at Juan M. Guerrero Elementary and all the way to Jigo, where they worked with the mayor's office to clear pathways to the Chiguian Massacre site in preparation for memorial ceremony. With this week's Everyday Hero, I'm Crystal Paco.